Okay, everybody, welcome to PowerShell. Let's try some real quick, um, real quick log file analysis. So what we'll do is we'll make a directory called PS, and I should already have the directory created. So I'll just jump in the PS directory. So a CD into the PS directory, and you can use this cute little trick right here, right? New object, system.net, web client, download file, and then just put a link to the file that you want. Download it into the PS directory. Pretty cute little trick. Okay, so this is just a cute little trick to download files. You'll also find that you use it in post-exploitation, too. So let's say you're hacking into a machine. You want to download the file of the, on a machine that you're hacking into. This is literally the command that you use. Okay, so now we've got our log file downloaded. And then let's go ahead and let's snatch ourselves a uh, Cisco log file. Now, if you're if you're like me and you're from a Linux world, what you probably used a lot of was grep. So we don't really have grep in PowerShell, but you have something really, really close to it, and that's just select string. So you can select string like this. And then you should be able to pipe measure, right, for how many of those instances that you have in the log file. So I'm selecting the string saying, hey, I want to know how many, I want to know if this IP address is in the log file. And then I just said pipe measure because I wanted to count how many times the IP address was in the line, in the log file. Now we can do it a cute little trick is I'm going to do a select line and then measure it as well. Now, if you want to pass it regular expressions, you can do that in this line. So this, you're looking for a regular expression. And then you want to get all the properties of it. And you want to sort it and unique it, just like we do in Linux, right? Let's grab a log file from IIS. So we'll jump right down here. Right, so we're in line 286, like this. And we'll grab this IIS log file, and let's start searching for some stuff in it. So we'll snatch this log file. Now we'll do a get content from the log file. There you go. So I ran get content through any log that we have. Here's the iterator trick that I showed you from earlier. And then what I was looking for is WebDAV. So anything in any of these log files that had WebDAV. Now WebDAV is a real common way that we'll find um, vulnerable web servers, vulnerable Windows web servers. So, um, you know, WebDAV is what allowed developers to upload code to a web server. Um, sometimes without authentication, but so we're looking for a misconfigured web server that allows either put or web dev, especially if we look in the log files to see if it's being exploited. You can find so much in these log files. Just use the commands I've given you as kind of templates and then swap out for the stuff that you want to find in them. You'll be able to do so much. Now, if we want to sort it down, 
Now, what I want to do is I want to grab a few files. Okay. Internet Explorer often um, with Pastebin includes the line numbers. It's a little frustrating. Okay, so now what we need is some regular expressions. Okay, so we're going to start with a variable called input path. And the variable input path is just going to be full of email addresses. The output file is going to be extracted addresses.txt. And now, whoops, we have to make a regular expression. Let me delete that. So select the string from this path, and I'll use the input path. Then he'll say, hey, check for this pattern. Show me all matches. And then for each match, loop through these jokers. Same way I've taught you how. I'll put each value into output file. And output files a variable which points to extracted email addresses. So it's just a way that you can rip through a log file and grab all the email addresses out of it. That's what these few lines of code are doing. There you go. Now let's type extracted addresses and it's all email addresses. If I can help you learn about who we are and hopefully if you're willing to join us. This is InfoSec Addicts.